see the my screen yes sir okay good evening friends uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, sharma ji uh, mr ayer ji and mr anand kumar and all the uh, members uh, senior colleagues of fauzul ananaha thank you anand kumar ji for addressing me as last time the one for fauzul ade this is because uh, we are very good uh, guru ayer is my favorite guru uh, he gave me in my life thank you very much sir <clears throat> yeah Mr. Sharma ji attended one of my sessions and told me that I would like you to address our Anana Health Center. I could readily agree for it because uh, always connecting with uh, higher end people, so we can learn knowledge. So I would love to connect with uh, people like you, and uh, we are very happy to associate myself with the Council Anana Health also. Um, so today uh, we discuss a lot of topic. Uh, Mr. Sharma ji is one of the Um, what do you mean? I cannot call him as a guru. He is my youngster. He is younger brother to me like that. He was talking. No, no, no. Don't talk old subjects. Talk new things. And he was demanding heavily. So thank you, uh, Sharma ji, for making me to talk on the new subject, happy living through mind management. Okay. So uh, I will. Most of the time, it is going to be presentation come talking because uh, communications will be have more impact in the presentation form. so the lament is say that living uh, whether it is a happy living or it is a uh, sorrowful living but we are not here to discuss about sorrowful living we are interested into talking about happy living only so i am going to give you two things one is like the methods by which we can change our life whatever we are now we can change our life i am going to talk the second option is uh, where we are now where we are now that means 2021 uh, happiness index if you take it where we are now so we know how much we have to improve okay the moment i talk about happy living people start asking and corona period covid 19 is killing all of us and everyone is dejected now you are going to talk about happy living then i told to many of the people it is a right time for me to talk about happy living because this is a time even doctors i have a lot of Uh, medical doctors who are friends to me they were telling that 77% of the people die out of corona not because of corona or covid it's because the fear of uh, losing their life not because of corona fear of losing their life uh, 77% of the people are dying only around 7 to 12% of the people are dying because of the serious implications created by corona balance almost 87% of the people are dying because of fear of death and because of not thinking in a proper direction mind management okay so i would like to tell first important word which uh, coined by me long time back happiness is a rocking chair keeps you busy leads you nowhere like you know you can be miserable that is okay you need not worry about it you need not live on it you need not think about it continuously because you are thinking about your unhappiness it keeps you busy but leads you nowhere so it is just like a rocking chair so we will be in, always engaged we are keep on thinking that we are engaging ourselves but we don't move at all so it is exactly the same with unhappiness so currently i am just connecting with the management and uh, living so we call it as a vuca world vuca world is like volatility uncertainty complexity and ambiguity which is fragile so we do not know what is going to happen tomorrow we, because like uma madam told just three days before we do not know that we are going to have a full lockdown for seven days and likely to continue by another seven days so that is very volatile the situation is very volatile and it's uncertainty because uh, like uh, sharma ji told somebody was there with us last uh, few uh, months before it is no more with us uh, we never expected all this complexity like you know handling the problem of uh, covid 19 it's very very tough for all the people it is very complex to handle and duty that is again what is happening is lack of clarity in different subjects which is creating it but uh, you can convert this fragile area in agile area like you know, if you have a clear vision if you have a clear understanding 
if you have a clarity in your thoughts and you are agility agility means ability to change yourself adapt yourself you are going to have agility that means you are going to have a happy living so i am going to talk about not about negative point i am going to talk about positive point what is important thing i will tell you is today many of us think that uh, covid 19 created lot of problem for us in fact it is it has brought so many good things to us like you know our big brother china is losing around 24% of the market manufacturing capability to india many movies have come to india started manufacturing today india has become the number one drug manufacturer of the world like you know after we meet the requirement of our india it is going to be exported out of india imagine that it's a great opportunity it will take many years for us to achieve second digital transformation today none of us six months or one year before thought that we will be using a uh, zoom platform today everyone knows about it earlier we were not aware of it a uh, uh, video conferencing or call conference or visiting unnecessary travel all this thing has reduced so uh, covid 19 brought us lot of opportunities so you have to make use of this opportunity and you have to grow so first thing is every one of us talk about things which is not under our control like you no know, there is no point in talking things which is not under your control like right? you know you cannot decide who is going to be your prime minister or who is going to be your chief minister you cannot decide who is going to be your chief secretary whereas what are the things under your control like what how we are going to do the savings how we are going to distribute the savings how we are going to allocate the funds for different purposes all these things which is under your control my area of concern is forget about things which is not under control because worrying about them is like keeping you as self in a rocking chair worrying about them you are not going to get any benefit whereas things under your control you are able to influence increase your things under your control which can influence uh, things not under your control also like irrespective of who is going to be my chief minister irrespective of who is going to be my prime minister irrespective of who is going to be the industries minister i decided to grow irrespective of my health conditions irrespective of atmospheric irrespective of environment i am going to do regular exercise i am going to improve my health which is under your control so the moment you start focusing on things under your control which is 100% in your hand you can change your life uh, i have proved it many number of times one small example i will tell you there is a, there was a military this is a real life example there was a military officer who came um, to Uh, it was a Deepak Chopra, who is a great uh, managing management or a doctorate on mind management. Deepak, his book he has written it. He went and met a doctor, one of the patient, and the uh, doctor told him that oh, you need to come with some seniors. And you came, but uh, I don't know how to tell to you. Any your wife has come, or your uh, son and daughter has come. All these things were asked. Then he was saying, "It what is this? You are going to tell about blood urea nitrogen is more for me." how come you know about it yeah yeah i know it then if you don't believe me you can ask my daughter daughter was around 15 years old she asked uh, the doctor asked the, the daughter of the patient do you know that your father has blood urea nitrogen more than the specified amount yeah 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 i know it long time back because of that the military has uh, he was working for a military and uh, military doctors have told that maybe another two years time he will pass away so we will give a peaceful retirement we gave to him so after that he came out of it military now now what happened after two years we went and met the doctor the doctor gone away so we are there and the doctor has gone so the doctor he has told the uh, patient has told next time we see a doctor who can predict it better so we went and met another doctor he told that uh, maybe another three years you will not be after five years the doctor the, the patient was he said no 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 we don't want to go we will take 5 years and after 5 years he went and met the doctor that doctor also gone away so what i am trying to say is it is a real life incident blood urea nitrogen is dangerous it's a miracle a person living with blood urea nitrogen more than the specified limit it is a miracle but 
when he told how you are living the person asked him then he told them i told to myself i am not having any problem and uh, whatever the medical field says it is their uh, methodology okay i don't believe in that and i am going to be normal that's all i kept on telling to myself every day and we never had a problem exactly the same thing what i am trying to tell you forget about the environment forget about the things which is happening around the things like you no know, you have flat will be filled with lot of pigeons with the corona or covid don't worry about that because that is immaterial like you know which is not under your control do not worry about not under your control so what you should try to do is things which is under your control you can increase your life happy okay so any problem if you take it many times uh, as seniors you know i put myself as a senior uh, but according to the who uh, standards uh, people up to 65 years is youth. okay so i am a youth then so up to 65 years people are youth above that they are only seniors and above uh, 100 people called the super seniors so we all are in the uh, what you can youth to seniors level only okay so every problem has a different solution many times we think that solution number 5 is the optimum solution and we focus on that and the moment we are not getting it we get dejected okay so what is the problem is the problem is not with the solution not with the problem our perception about the solution for the problem i'm repeating it our perception about the solution of the problem is what we think solution 5 is better but what happened solution 5 may not be a correct solution also solution 4 can be said better solution 7 can be better or solution 2 can be better so what i am trying to say is the moment you started looking at the solutions all the possible solution give a detached attachment like you are going to solve the problem not attaching yourself to the solution so what will happen you try best possible solution even if you miss one or two the third option will help you to become successful okay i will tell you in things um uh, japanese mythology and i will tell you what is this it's called ikihai ikihai is a very very famous uh, japanese mythology like if you see any of the japanese product any of the japanese product you will never feel a inferior uh, you will never get an inferior japanese product last 25 years or so Yes, 35 years before I had a friend. Uh, uh, his name was Nishibashi, and uh, he was having a pencil. He will have a pencil, uh, and the pencil will break. The lead will be breaking. It's very uh, brittle. When I asked him, "Why you keep on buying your brittle uh, pencil? Because I am using another pencil which is very good in quality, and you can use it." He says, "No, I will keep on buying my country pencil so that the country will improve." Okay, so Ikihai is. Practiced in a village, so I will tell about Ikihai in a very simple form. See, in your life, what you can be paid for is one. That is, one set of people will get paid for what they are good in it. Okay. Second people, uh, they get paid because of the world requirement. World requirement is like plumbing work is a requirement of a world. And if you do the plumbing, you get paid for that. Okay. That is another one. third one is like you know, somebody want to do something what they love okay so the the person will get paid for the what they love okay and next one is you get paid for what you are good at that means i may be a teacher but i am not interested in teaching that means i want to be in teaching because that gives me comfortability to stay inside my home but i am not good in it i will remain as a teacher it is what i love because i want to stay at home is not my teaching is my passion so i will not be successful in life whereas somebody who is extremely good in passion is teaching okay and he will not get a job of teaching also okay this is the four ways of life where you are getting paid so if you take the two intersection of the thing like what you are paid for and what the world needs it's called occasion okay, okay like you know plumber electrician all these things comes as electrical fittings all these things comes under this there are some people who are good at uh, what they are 
and they are will be paid for that that is called professionals like you no know, i am a medical doctor and i am good in treating patients that is i am good and i will be paid for that that is called profession there are some people like you know i love what i am doing and what the world needs it okay that is executives like you know they are very good executives so we can call them as a uh, mission like i is officers and things like that and uh, passion like you know what you love what you are good at abdul kalam ji our former people president abdul kalam ji if you take him his job was passion like you know he loves teaching even after retirement he decided to do a teaching and he went on traveling meeting so many people till his death he was teaching and that is what is good and what he loves that is called the passion okay now there is another intersection that is uh, if you say it no if you say what the world needs and what you can be paid for it that is this occasion i told on that higher level is excitement complex entity but no uncertainty because the, you are you are good and what you are paying for is also but there is no certainty that you will get the regular rate if the business goes down if the uh, employment comes down your income is comes down similarly second one is like you know you are good in uh, what you call what the world needs and what you love okay so you will have happiness you will have delight and but you will not have satisfaction of earning money like you know some of the teachers so those people they will be delightful in teaching but they will not be making money because they do what they love and what the world needs is teaching but they don't get the wealth next like you know we are like many of the professionals what we are we are comfortable but feeling of emptiness like most of us are engineers doctors auditors all these things we are very good professionals okay but at the end of the year we will say that no i didn't see your uh, mahabharat i didn't read mahabharat i didn't read uh, quran i didn't read uh, um uh, any of the uh, teachings of uh, jesus christ all these things we will feel at the end so it is comfortable but feeling of emptiness will come whereas if you see the other set of people satisfaction but is not usefulness like no some of the experts who are doing what they are good that is below the passion and what they love they will be doing it but they are not getting the uh or equal feeling usefulness to the society like no shashi tarur shashi tarur is good in english shashi is loves talking but what happened he is not creating an impact in the india so if you see ikihai is combination of all it means you do a job what you can be paid for you do a job what the world needs you do a job what you love and you do the job what you are good at in that case what happens is you never work at all you keep on enjoying job the moment you start enjoying what will happen is you don't feel that you are okay some of the doctors a uh, few days before somebody told about some news channel i saw it some doctor somewhere in uh, north medas only passed away in covid irrespective of covid around 7000 people turned for his burial 7000 people because he was living in the state of ikiha he was never money minded he was maximum he was starting from 50 paise to 50 rupees he collected till this death but he was more service oriented all the things so this is what the state so the moment if you start looking for reaching this position it's very difficult the moment if you start reaching this position and start working on it it's very very easy for all of you so this is ikihai is a japanese concept okay now i am not going to bore you with what is the function of mind what is the neuron movement how even though i am qualified i studied i did a market research and neuro marketing is a very rare subject i am not going to talk about this or either i am talking about neural network neural network system i am going to tell you some simple tips which like sharma ji told i want a clear take away from all of you i am going to give uh, our happiness is controlled by five factors okay all of us i i found out all of us comes into this five sometimes instead of five it can be four sometimes it can be three 
or it can be five also. But definitely, it will not be uh, excluding any one of them. First set is can be called divide or can be portioned as environment and society. Like many times, we think we are individual. Actually, you are not individual. You are living in a society. You are living in an environment which is controlled by the uh, society. So that makes an impact. So if you want to be happy in that segment, what you need to do is you don't think that you are the master of that place. You think that you are only to exist in the society. So many times we wrongly think that uh, we are the owning this piece of land. Just see it in the burial ground. Not even paise you can take. Not even a single paise you can take. So, but what we think that, so we don't uh, allow the dogs, we don't allow the cats, we don't allow the monkeys, we don't allow anything and we run away, we keep them away from all the things and we, we occupy their area. So we, we should think that we are coexisting in the nature. Many times this is missing in our community. So that is one of the reasons. Second thing is, we don't upgrade and upgrade. That's very, very important. Update and upgrade has to happen. Again, I will tell another, another friend, uh, again a Japanese friend, uh, who told me, what was the update and upgrade? He asked me uh, at Pune airport, uh, you tell me what is the uh, literacy? I told, what is, you are asking me, yeah, yeah, I want to know that. What is the meaning of literate? Then I told him literate is a meaning a person who cannot read, write, understand things. Then he told me, not that man told, that's wrong. In our country, Japan, a person who is last month to this month has not updated himself, has not learned anything, has doing the same job what he was doing last month, he is called illiterate. Last month or this month, eh, the person has to upgrade himself. Otherwise, he will be considered as an uh, illiterate. See, where they are, and we think, let us consider ourselves where we are. Every month, they have to improve. Otherwise, they consider themselves as illiterate. Okay? And transform. So, that's the reason I coined about transform, and I started the organization four years before. And this transform is irreversible process. A butterfly, he transforms from a cocoon to a butterfly, not in the form of changing. Changing is influenced by external factors, whereas transformation will not influence by external factors. It will happen on its own. And so these three things which will help you to come out of your uh, environment and society things. Coming to relatives. See, the second point is the relatives. Relatives, many people will say that, no, 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 my relatives cannot be reliable. My relatives, I don't want to risk upon. All these things will be keep on saying. The first thing is, I would recommend you to reduce your reductions. Expectation. Expectations in the sense is, father expecting from son, son expecting from father, uh, husband expecting from wife, wife expecting from husband, has to reduce. It's very difficult, but I'm telling you, this is what you practice. The moment if you reduce your expectations, okay, whatever the other person does, you feel enjoyment. The moment you start expecting and they are not meeting your expectation and you create panic and you say that my relative is not good, my spouse is not good, my husband is not good, all these things will come. So if you reduce your expectation, like, you know, you, your wife expects you to come with you to the uh, shopping mall. You are not interested in going to the shopping mall. Okay. But the wife expects this, you know, my husband has to come. But if husband decides not to come, you cannot compel her husband. But if the expectation is this, okay. And if the husband says that, okay, I am ready to come with you to the shopping, then her joy has increased. Okay. So that is the first thing. Second thing is understand. Understanding people is very, very important. Many times we don't understand people. We often listen, I'm telling you repeatedly, we often listen not to listen. We often listen to any lecture not to listen. We listen 
to conquer the person who is talking. We are listening with the person, not to listen completely, but we are listening to the person. What are the points I can counter the person? It's like you no, know, your your glass is always half full. So the best example I can tell it out of Zen is you keep your glass empty. If you want to learn anything, you have to listen to them. However, it is a small person or a big person. In Hindu mythology, we will be having it. You no, know, like Lord Shiva took the mantra from uh, Lord Muruga, who is his son, and at the very young age. So that is one of the example. I think we can quote from everywhere. So understanding it is called active listening. Active listening we don't do. We listen mostly. We don't listen. We call it as a hearing. When we hear. what will happen is you will not get what you want when you listen you get what you want you will just apply it from tomorrow onwards with your family members you start listening to them okay you don't hear to them if you start listening to them all your problems will come down okay so that is the second thing and the third thing will be trust the youngsters and give them responsibility many times we think that no 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 we know better and uh, uh, we have high experience i have knowledge i have experience so many years so whatever i am saying is correct now my grandson can handle my phone in a better way than me when i tell to my grandson he will say he is only 2 and 1/2 years old he will handle my phone in a much better way uh, it's iphone it's he can handle it much better way than i am what is the use of me having a doctorate and a masters degree in marketing masters degree in production all this is useless because for handling a phone youngster is helping me how to do it so the moment you appreciate and give them the responsibility greater responsibility the moment you give him the responsibility he will start looking at you and he will start respecting you today many of our relationship breaking because of that they don't trust youngsters they don't listen to the youngsters or they don't listen to the elders or expectations are very high if you these three things if you remove it if you improve on it okay automatically all your relationship will go okay whether it is your wife son or daughter or mother in law son in law or uncle or aunt or whatever it may be the relationship will go okay the third one is friends like you know it it's very difficult to get a friend like you take your organization itself your organization itself is friends of same wavelength so it is that things we get connected and i am seeing our friends 5 o'clock 5:30 is a meeting 5 o'clock onward the people are interacting and they are assembling themselves because everyone is waiting for this opportunity to get connected with their friends so because we cannot go out and it's a time for all of us to get connected with the people so friendship is beyond your relation beyond your society beyond your environment so friendship is very very important but even the friends there is some problem because you think that it is the you have to expect the unexpected from all the friends expect the unexpected from all the friends you cannot simply say that my friend he will do everything good for me no you think that there is a possibility the situation will force him to do negative things so you have to expect the unexpected and prepare yourself and unconditional love if he is performing to the expectation of mine then i will have my friendship otherwise my friendship will come down then it is not a friendship it is only trading if you are unconditional love like the love a small child below 6 years 6 months or below 2 years the child will have love towards you without any condition correct so that is called unconditional love simple example you take your dog the dog will jump out of joy out of the coat itself if it is possible the moment it happened to see it, because that is called unconditional love are you showing unconditional love to your friends that is what i expect and the third one will be accept the reality that the priorities may change you call somebody and he didn't turn up like no now covid many of the people we want to attend to the marriage uh, we want to attend to the good functions 
family functions. But we are not in a position to come because of restriction, so many things. So we should understand each other. No, 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 I am his very close friend. He has not come. How I can expect him as my friend? So accept the reality that the priorities may change. Okay. Colleagues. Okay. Sometimes you feel that colleagues are important or not important. But whether you like it or not, 62% of your lifetime you are spending with your colleagues. 62% of your lifetime. You remain, you take your number of 24 hours, reduce your bathing, taking food, traveling, all these things, reduce it. What is the living time you take it? On that 62% of your time you are spending with your colleagues. Whether it's an official colleague or a partner or a businessman, whatever it is. So there also, you should not think that they are very close friends. That is the professional relationship. Okay, tomorrow he will leave you. He will go to a different company. He may go better than your position also. So it is a professional relationship. So you should have a freedom for him to move around. Okay. Second, we should not allow them that he should be always under me. You should collaborate. As long as he is working with you, you can collaborate with him, make use of his benefits, start working with him. And third one will be, treat them with the respect, educate and guide them the way at which you got respected when you are there. Today, many people don't get good colleagues and people say that 70% of the people leave the company because of their boss, <coughs> not because of the things. So it is because they don't treat themselves in a proper way. Because getting a salary is not important. Getting a education is available. Okay, Guiding people are available. But giving respect is very, very important. Okay. So, the last triangle is aligning with the net. Which is miserably we fail. Miserably we fail. You, I will show you uh, data and you can see it out how the data, data is where it is. Okay, align with nature, miserably we fail. We means I am talking about the Indians. Okay, so it's a God given opportunity to live in this space. It is not, we are not owners of this space. Whether with us, without us, the people can come and go. We should understand and accept the reality that we are only a coexistence along with the insects along with the things, like you know, now people say that it is a nature's decision to whom they can carry for them. Like you no, know, they were creating so much of hazard to the nature and the nature decides to leave dinosaurs. And if we continue to do the same thing, the nature will decide to remove us from the earth itself. Earth is not going to close on us. Earth is going to continue. You and me may not be existent in the earth. Okay. So that is the things you should understand. So before you and after you, nature will be there. That's a reality once you understood. Then even your chair or your sofa or your comfort, your flat or your bungalow will exist without you also. That is a reality we should accept. The moment you accept it, then we think that we are not a owner, we are only a co occupant Okay. So then the, we, we will start aligning with the nature. Okay, so in summarize things, many times we are in a sorrow because we live in the past. Because what is guided by past is memories, regrets, and missed opportunities and bad experiences. Nobody likes to be remembering because these, these bad experiences, these missed opportunities will always tell to you, you keep on telling to people. No, 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 I got a very good opportunity to become a dealer of Roderick's. I missed it. Because that is how we keep on talking. We need not worry about that because this is past is dead and gone. Past is dead and gone. Future is uncertain, not known. If we will be thinking that what is the expectations? Okay, in case if banks abolish interest and banks close their uh, money, what I will do to the fixed deposit? So all these things, what if, okay, and it's patience, okay, what will happen to our shares price? So all this, it's, it's future is uncertain. Our life is like a pendulum, which is moving from past to future. Okay, but you are not going to be in that. If you are in past, you are going to be, life is miserable. 
if you are going to be in future again you are uncertain that's the reason i say that japanese methodology uh, zen methodology india uh, buddha has told that be here now if you are listening to the lecture of ps kumar listen to what ps kumar says that's it that's all nothing else and because we here now is at this point listen like you know i was listening to some of the international speaker they asked me the same question i told him the same i am listening to brain tracing now that's it and i didn't say anything and they told it is a correct answer so be here now is like you know the moment you it's a golden word i wrote it in my wall every day i see it be here now anything if i am doing it i will remember only that i don't care about the past i don't care about the future okay automatically it happen so happiness is not of an outside happiness is within okay you will respect your things you will get happiness because worrying about covid worrying about uh, vaccination worrying about this nothing is going to help you are not going to improve your health you start practicing social distancing you start practicing keeping safe clean hands you start wearing double mask when you are going out and uh, mom madam told there is a mad rush as if we are not eating anywhere we are eating we are living correct now you just think that how they told that eating burger is important eating pizza is important eating uh, your rice cream on subway is very very important they are never told they are saying that you eat ng you eat kadu you eat melaga all these things they are talking about traditional things what we have done it in temple so happiness is within it is not outside with or without others a happiness can be your happiness cannot be stolen or stolen from somebody okay so it is you can live with it okay with this my thing is over i am telling you what is the position of our like i will come to this like you know this is uh, some statistical which is i am not going to because we will go for one question answer because sharma ji asked me to give some here a happiness index is 2001 i will go to this 2001 21 finland denmark switzerland iceland netherlands norway sweden luxembourg new zealand austria exactly the same countries in 2020 also and you know where we are they are number 1 total 149 countries they have conducted every year they conducted uh they are the number 1 but then see if you see it you no know, 1 2 3 or 4 up to 4 there is no change okay now where we are we are see here we are 139 out of 149 we are 139 why we are not with the nature he is point the nature so we think that we are the owners actually earth is telling that you are not the owners so our position is 139 and position number 1 is finland what is our score 3.81 what is the score of finland 7.8 so you have to improve this much we have to improve this much for which you don't waste your time on things which is not under control focus on things under your control with this let me complete my uh, 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 talk and i request uh, members to post questions if they have